Good afternoon, everybody. Um, there's some pretty serious allegations that have surfaced with regard to Oxfam, uh, an international aid organization, and they surround um, some of Oxfam's senior staff uh, sexually exploiting women in Haiti. So these allegations uh, have been widely reported over the last 48 hours and they've spurred a lot of action from different international organizations. We've seen a lot of uh, representatives, high profile people end their affiliation with Oxfam, uh, resign from the organization and many governments around the world are having a conversation about whether or not we should consider uh, continue funding them. Um, last November, Justin Trudeau had announced $17.5 million of funding to Oxfam uh, for its organization in the Philippines to deal with um, essentially helping to empower women in terms of their reproductive health and uh, other sexual issues. Um, but today, I, I read a news article saying that the organization Oxfam, Oxfam's uh, regional director for Asia said that she knew of uh, other cases of potential sexual exploitation within their organization in that region, including the Philippines. So today, I asked Justin Trudeau in the House of Commons if he would suspend the funding. Uh, he didn't come out and say that, um, but I did send him a note in the house saying, look, you know, partisanship aside, you can use your profile to end something that is really disgusting. And we shouldn't be sending Canadian taxpayer dollars to organizations uh, that uh, purport to support the rights of women, but have allegations like this against them. And they're pretty serious. Um, they involve prostitution and uh, exploiting women that are in, in some of the most dire situations in the world. So essentially exploiting the women that we're supposed to be helping. There are a lot of organizations around the world that do a lot of good work in this area. You know, certainly um, uh, you know, several come to mind. And I think what we need now is given the Me Too movement, uh, given the fact that we should be putting the rights of victims first, uh, the government really needs to have a think about how it's reviewing its international aid commitments, especially for, for, for programs that purport to support women and girls, and making sure that there's some sort of reporting process to ensure that this sort of stuff doesn't happen. Uh, I encourage you to read an article in the Globe and Mail today that talked about how it sort of speculated that they think that this is the tip of the iceberg, that this is something that's probably not uh, unique just to Oxfam, but that there's many organizations that don't have internal processes to deal with exploitation of women by aid workers uh, on the ground. And I think that that's something that Canada should be charged with and that we should be taking the lead on in terms of demanding action, for, action on. We send so much money um, abroad to help uh, underprivileged people, um, we always have, but we also have a responsibility as legislators and people here who are tasked with um, making sure that we're, we're spending your money wisely to make sure that uh, situations like this doesn't happen. I personally think that Canada should immediately suspend the funding to Oxfam uh, until this is either cleared up or we understand what's happened or, you know, it, Frankly, there's, there's a certain point where you have to say allegations are so serious and if there's so many of them, um, does the organization have the ability to actually deliver on a mandate like this? Those are the questions that I would hope the Prime Minister and his Minister for International Development are asking today and uh, certainly that's something that I asked him about in the House of Commons and will continue to press for action upon. Um, I hope that this doesn't become a partisan issue because I would like to think that this is something that all members of Parliament can agree upon. So today I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to act on this. But certainly, um, if you have an interest in this, uh, I encourage you to write to him, to write to the Minister of International Development and say, look, um, we shouldn't be sending money, Canadian taxpayer money, to this organization uh, if it has in fact been um, found eventually to have been exploiting the women that we're supposed to be helping. It's really irresponsible. So... Uh, just uh, an issue that might not be on the top of your radar today, but it's something that's really important, especially as we talk about uh, Canada's ob obligations to the global community and how we allocate resources to different programs, and especially when we talk about Canada's role in protecting women and the rights of women around the world. Working hard for you in Ottawa.